Percubaan SPM Biologi Negeri Terengganu tahun 2020 kertas 2. Soalan 1, question number 1. Cell X in the diagram 1.1 shows the typical structure of an animal cells. Mari kita study dulu rajah 1.1. There are four labels in the diagram, J, K, L and M. J, K and L are obvious, isn't it? J is mitochondrion. K here is rough endoplasmic reticulum. Awak mesti cek betul-betul sama ada garisan ni berakhir pada bahagian jalinan membran ataupun pada bentuk dot berwarna gelap atau hitam. If the line on the black dot, that must referring to the ribosome. Here, the line ended on the membrane. So, no excuse. K is rough endoplasmic reticulum. K is rough endoplasmic reticulum. L pula. Golgi apparatus. L is Golgi apparatus. M is uh, not sure at the moment. Although this X shape looks like chromosome, but it can be chromosome. Why? Well, because M is located at the outside of the nucleus. Chromosome must reside inside the nucleus except during cell division. Okay, tak apa. Kita tengok dulu soalan ya. Question A one. Name the parts label J, K and L. So lucky. Dia tak tanya pun pasal M. Okay. J is mitochondrion lah. K is rough endoplasmic reticulum. L is Golgi apparatus. L is Golgi apparatus. So one mark each. So jadi tiga markah easily. Okay. Question A2. State the function of J and L. Two marks. J is mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is the site of cellular respiration for energy generation. Okay, J is mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is the site of cellular respiration for energy generation. L is Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus transports, modifies and package proteins. L is Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus transports, modifies and package proteins. So far, straightforward punya question. Okay, tak susah sangat. Question B. Explain the role of organelle K and L in the production of extracellular enzymes. Two marks. So, production of extracellular enzyme. Tapi kita mesti terangkan atau berbincangkan the role of organelle K which is the endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum and L, the Golgi apparatus. We need to explain their function okay in regards to the production of extracellular enzymes so antara jawapan yang kamu boleh boleh berikan ialah organel K which is the rough endoplasmic reticulum receive and transports protein that is synthesized by ribosome okay dah tentulah ribosome yang mensintesis protein K akan menerima protein tersebut dan akan mengangkut protein tersebut Okay, dia akan menerima dan mengangkut protein yang telah disintesiskan oleh ribosom. Then, rough endoplasmic reticulum package protein into transport vesicle. Kemudian, protein tersebut akan bergerak ataupun kata-kata diangkut oleh rough endoplasmic reticulum sebelum dibawa ke bahagian dia punya membran dan dia akan membungkus protein tersebut dalam bentuk vesikel angkutan, transport vesikel. This transport vesicles is sent to organelle L which is the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus modifies protein into enzyme. Enzyme is packaged and transported by secreted vesicle and is released out of the cell as extracellular enzyme. Jadi dah jawablah soalan tu kan. Ditanya hubungan ataupun ditanya tentang apakah fungsi jalinan endoplasma kasar dan Golgi apparatus dalam penghasilan enzim luar sel. Jadi kita punya jawapan kita mesti menjurus kepada penghasilan enzim luar sel. Jadi enzim is packaged, enzim itu akan dibungkus and transported dan diangkut oleh vesikel rembesan. Enzim itu akan dipackage ataupun dibungkus, enzim is packaged and transported dan dihantar, dihangkut by secreted vesicle oleh vesicle rembesan and is released out of the cell as extracellular enzymes. Okay, question C. M is food storage in the cell. Explain the formation of M. Okay, now we know what is M. The question give a clue saying that M is a food storage in the cell. 
what is the food storage in the cell? Well, food here must be referring to glucose, okay, must be referring to the glucose. In animal cell, glucose is stored as glycogen, whereas in plant cell, glucose is stored as starch. Okay, in animal cell, glucose is stored as glycogen, whereas in plant cell, glucose is stored as starch. So, M is glycogen lah, because glucose is stored as glycogen inside animal cell. This is animal cell, jadi jawapannya glycogen. So, how glycogen is formed? Glycogen is polysaccharides. Its monomer is glucose. In the liver cells, insulin converts excess glucose into glycogen through condensation process. In the liver cells, insulin converts excess glucose into glycogen through condensation process. Okay, jadi ini tindakan hormon yang kita panggil insulin. Nama hormon tu insulin kan? Jadi insulin tu akan menukarkan glukos yang berlebihan kepada glikogen melalui proses kondensasi. Kalaulah, kalaulah kandungan ataupun aras glukosa dalam darah tinggi, tinggi ini bermakna individu tersebut menghidap penyakit kencing manis iaitu kandungan gula dalam darah dia tinggi melebihi julat yang normal. Okay. Question D. Diagram 1.2 shows the condition of chili before and after being immersed for 2 hours in distilled water. Mari kita study raja 1.2 yang diberikan. Ada sebiji cili yang dipotong memanjang. Biasanya kita potong macam ni untuk buat cili hiasan. Macam ni ha. This chili is being immersed in distilled water. So what happen? Kita perhatikan bahagian badan cili yang dipotong itu membengkok kan? Ia kembang, jadi ia kembang macam kelopak bunga selepas saja kita rendamkan dalam air sulin. Okay, state the final observation of chili condition. Explain why. Dan jawapannya ialah, chili is bent, chili membengkok. So, what is the explanation? Macam mana chili itu boleh membengkok? Kita kena kaitkan dengan konsep ataupun kita punya apa yang kita dah belajar dalam biologi kan? Apa fakta yang kita belajar dalam biologi? Jadi, ini berkaitan dengan mestilah Bagaimana kesan, apakah kesan jenis larutan terhadap sel? Terhadap sel. Jadi jenis larutan kat sini, apa dia jenis larutan ni? Isulin ialah hipotoni ataupun larutan yang cair. Jadi kita kata, distilled water is hypotonic to cell sap of the chili. Distilled water is hypotonic to cell sap of the chili. Isulin adalah adalah hipotonik terhadap subsel bagi chili. Jadi, water diffuses into the cell by osmosis. Water diffuses into the cell by osmosis. Vacuole will expand and cell become turgid. Vacuole will expand and cell become turgid. So, 4 marks. Senang je kan? Okay, itu saja.